what worked. I'll start with number four. I did round zucchinis. Oh, whoa. They were more green. They've turned yellow since they've kept. I haven't cut one yet to see how it's storing, but the round oh. zucchinis did well. Jim, what worked in your garden this year? Well, you're looking at them right here. These were great. We got really nice big tomatoes for a change, the ones that the deer didn't eat. And um, what else did we have? Oh, a lot of beans, a lot of lettuce. I just pulled up the last little lettuce. What worked in your garden this year? Uh, the onions, the radishes, the tomatoes, the uh, strawberries, the raspberries. The oh, pie gosh. pumpkin didn't make it because we put it up too close to the roundup. Oh dear. And uh, I'm decided to do away with our asparagus patch. And have you ever tried to dig them up? No. Terrible. It's a mess. Huh. I finally got some roundup and tried to kill them. <laughs> and uh, we had enough of a uh, rhubarb. I couldn't give it. Couldn't give it away. So we said. Okay, get the Roundup. <laughs> Roundup had a good year in your garden. Yeah. Well, I did garlic for the first time, and it was good. It was good. It was the garlic I bought from this garden. Yeah. And that worked out well, and I'm going to do that again. The tomatoes were fantastic, especially the super sauce tomatoes and all the little cherries, the bumblebees. Those yeah. were just wonderful. Wow. And what did work was radishes for a practicum project that we sprayed with nematodes. Nematodes? Yeah. Was that for flea beetles? That was for the um, all different kinds of bugs that get at the outside of the radishes and make them unmarketable. Okay. Um, I had really fantastic English cucumbers this year. English cucumbers? Way more than I know what to do with. And um, my super sauce tomatoes have been very productive um, and my other cherry tomatoes other tomatoes have been great it's been an amazing tomato year okay. tomatoes holy cow have I got tomatoes too many of them um, my new favorite that I try because I always try something new every year is something called gin fizz what a name it is a cool tomato it's got it's red on the bottom and then it goes orange and then yellow on the top and it's delicious. So that was a surprise. Beans, I've got yellow, purple, and dragon's tongue that are still producing, which is great. And those dragon tongue beans just keep getting bigger and they, they don't get tough. They, yeah, aren't they something? They're just really tender and yeah. delicious, yeah. Um, I planted potatoes in two big pots in my backyard and I think I harvested about 50 potatoes out of those two pots. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Purple and red, of course, because I have to go with colors. Yeah. yeah. Well, what worked well, you can see the pumpkins. We, they grew everywhere. They just took over the whole garden, actually. We have no uh, reason why or anything. They just appeared. And of course, we have a little dog now, and he ate one. One a good size one already. Oh and my gosh! It was bigger than he was. So you figure that out. Yeah. One. Number three was it was a trial packet from Johnny's called Silor Hybrid Cukes. It did really well, and I think the the, the conclusion was any warm weather crop did well. Sure. Uh, tomatoes, lots and lots of tomatoes. Okay. However, oh, and the peas and the beans that I grew, uh, the dog loved them. <laughs> so, so I got none for the table, but that's okay. Um, flowers, of course, lots of flowers for the birds. Lots of lots of volunteer sunflowers. Oh, great! So I've got lots of I've got a bird-friendly backyard. Oh, that's really good green beans. Great. Um, the beans were jade. Um, the nantes half long and the um, red cord chantney carrots are fantastic. Um, my kale's been good. It's a red kale. I don't remember the name of it. Um, my lettuce has actually been really good. And my garlic was great. Um, I did um, scarlet runner beans again, too, the tall ones. Yeah. I didn't pay, put the fence tall enough this year, and they're lopping over, and they're hard to find the beans, but they're working. Well, let's um, see. Peas, um, garlic, 
Uh, we've got squash, we've got pumpkins, we've got tomatoes, I had some green beans, I have some cucumbers, lettuce and spinach and bok choy and some other things. So the garden actually has gone pretty well this year. Broccoli was the best ever until the deer started eating it all. They ate all my broccoli. Oh my I goodness. didn't get picked. Cabbage they're gnawing on still. Uh, Carrots that I don't know yet, but the greens did really well. Spinach, chard, all did really well. Well, my carrots continue to do well. I used my Johnny seeds, my Bolero, and uh, sugar snaps, and they're still great, even though ours at the garden here didn't do well. Mine are huge, big. Um, wow. Rhubarb, I am still harvesting rhubarb. I know people don't do it, but I harvest it all, all season. I fertilize it, water it, pick it, and then I can it. Number two was super sauce tomatoes. Yeah. The club had them, and then I also ordered a packet of seeds. They did amazingly well. I grew some uh, Russian tomatoes, little ones, and uh, they're, so they're, they're tasty but not very big. The good news is that they came early. So I had uh, plenty of tomatoes even as early as uh, the latter part of July. We had many plantings of carrots this year. We started in Mar on March 18th inside of one of our caterpillar tunnels with a mochum carrot, and those were great. We did several uh, carrot plantings in April and May uh, in four row beds, and those were great. And we're here with our final harvest today, uh, in October 4th. These were planted on June 23rd. These are Hercules carrots. There's a lot of really nice ones that look like this. This year we had probably the best crop of peas we've ever had. Great broccoli some good cauliflower. Sweet corn was absolutely outstanding. We even got a good crop of raspberries, even though they very low. Yeah. The top parts of the plants had frozen back. And uh, the tomatoes are coming on strong. So the home garden was good, except for carrots. Except this for carrots. was a really good year for my uh, hot peppers. Uh, I had four different, five different varieties of hot peppers, two serranos, three jalapenos in an Anaheim, and they worked quite well and they ripened very nicely. Um, I tried a new pole bean this year, an, an heirloom variety called Seychelles, oh. which was beautiful, long, straight beans, very, very prolific. Um, We'll talk about what doesn't work with the beans in a minute. Uh, squash was excellent, of course. I had probably nine different varieties of tomatoes. Okay, and, yeah. And um, three of them were busts, and uh, several of them were very good. Um, I did a brandy wine for the first time this year, and my sister had started that from seed, and hers was a flop, and mine was super prolific. Um, so the warm season crops did really well because of the heat. All right, so one thing I did with my tomatoes that I am thrilled about is when I planted them and I put the starter plants in, I buried a water jug in with it that I popped holes in the bottom and then put the soil so only the neck of the water jug is out of the, out of the soil. So when I go to water, I just put the hose right in the top of the jug. It fills it up with a gallon. The soil doesn't get wet, the plants didn't get fungus or any kind of disease, and the water went right to the roots. It was great. What a brilliant idea. It was wonderful. I think I stole it off Pinterest or something like that. <laughs> what worked? What worked? Um, we built a new high tunnel in the field this year and grew a bunch of sauce tomatoes, and that was really awesome. We sold them at farm stands and everything. Um, just a really big success compared to last year. Heinz Paste. Heinz paste and oh, Ida okay. Gold. Um, so something else that really worked this year was peppers. We grew um, probably close to six different varieties of peppers, both sweet and spicy. And we got hundreds off of our plants and we just harvested the last of them um, this week. So that was a really awesome thing to see with the heat. <laughs> Jan, what worked in your garden this year? Boy, we had raspberries. Really? Boy, we had raspberries and the strawberries are doing real good too. Ours do better in the fall than they do in the spring. Well, that's good to hear. And, uh, and number one on my list was, I don't have them because I canned them all, was Super Verdi Tomatillas. They just took over my one garden and I was giving them away to everybody. Okay. So 
what didn't work this year? My squash. But I think that's because I didn't plant it soon enough. Oh. I planted it too late, and it's yeah. now just coming on good, and it's I won't get squash. Okay. And of course, we live south of town, out near uh, Leverage, and so it's a much shorter growing season. Yeah. I have a new greenhouse this year, and I was so elated, and it turns out I should have bought bagged organic soil because I bought soil that was bulk, and I bought it from a fellow that is a soil scientist, and he said that he had um, bioassayed it, but I had herbicide well, you had damage. Herbicide damage yeah. So I am putting biochar and more compost in there, and um, I did get some crop of my tomatoes, but I was pretty sad, to tell you the truth. Uh, beans that you ate them all. They ate all my green tomatoes before they even got ripe. I don't have any tomatoes. I don't have a single tomato ripe th this year. Uh, and they jumped a seven-foot fence to do that. Oh, my gosh. I mean, they jumped a seven-foot fence into the veggie garden. They jumped a seven-foot fence into my tulips and roses. They jumped a seven-foot fence into my raspberries. They ate, all, ate all my strawberry plants. They ate all the zucchini, including the plant. I hope there's some of very sore tongues. So what didn't work? Uh, the leeks, or I'm sorry, the uh, fennel was kind of odd. It got all sort of rotty. And uh, basil, not yeah, enough to, to put on a tomato hardly. Oh. Well, overall, I'd say it was okay. I didn't get a very good stand of carrots. Um, hmm. Lettuce bolted quite quickly. And I think I planted some spinach that just didn't really even come up. Oh, okay. What didn't work disastrously were the carrots. Oh. I only had about uh, 30 or 40 percent germination on my carrots. And um, so just bad luck on the carrots this year. What didn't work were with our peas. I planted the green arrow peas, which the club plants every year, and they were... I had some, but I didn't have a whole lot. Um, my two pole beans, I also did a Kentucky Wonder pole bean, and whereas the Seychelles was very, very successful, the Kentucky Wonder was a total bust. Um, it was just at the wrong time for those flowers. The flowers were um, just forming with the Kentucky Wonder that was quite a bit later than the Seychelles, and it, they were probably the worst green beans I have ever planted. <laughs> Uh, what didn't was any of the cold crops. I tried broccoli, cauliflower, I tried red cabbage, and they grew really tall, the plants, but they never formed, they never formed the fruit in the center or oh. the vegetable, whatever. It just, uh, you know, lots of greenery, but no, no cauliflower, no broccoli, no cabbage. The bad was the carrots. Okay. No germination. Okay. So it didn't work? Yeah. Rutabagas didn't work because um, I planted them and then we put them under plastic and didn't weed them fast enough um, and the weeds took over the rutabagas. Mac, what didn't work? I've been doing my best to plant peas on April 1st for over 20 years in different locations in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Northern California, and Montana. And it seems like Montana actually is one of the more reliable places to get a stand of peas from an April 1st planting. I don't know what it is about our spring but we had a total uh, near total crop failure of our garden peas this year um, between the hailstorm on the 4th of July and uh, some bacterial blight that got into the peas thereafter um, that's a disease that can either be seed borne it could be in your soil and mechanical injury like from a hailstorm can make it happen too and I'm gonna blame our cover crop we've been growing peas and wheat as a cover crop every other year for going on five years now, and I'm, I'm starting to wonder if that's not enough of a crop rotation away from peas in the future. Mm. Broccoli was a little disappointing. Uh, seemed to come on really late, and then the bugs got it. Um, and of course my lettuce and spinach bolted, but really, I can't complain. What didn't work? Celery. Celery. Last year's celery was wonderful. I have one tiny little celery plant it just didn't do it. The spinach bolted. The beets never grew. They're they're like this tall. So I got mine from the club. 
I had flea beetles on the arugula lettuce, but mostly late season. I've never had flea beetles before. And the other thing that didn't do well was the emerald tower basil. The club loves it. Yeah. They grow it in a hoop house. I can't grow it outside. So huh. that's what didn't grow up. Okay. Um, our fall brassicas got infested with aphids really bad. And um, we had a couple crop failures there, which is a bummer. This is the gold standard. Well, my winter squash didn't even bother to come up. <laughs> oh, too close, too close to the roundup. Okay, well, that explains that. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to do tomatoes anymore because the tomatoes are too much water, too much work, and the wind just blows them over. Oh. So. Well, I usually take a look at that in December and look at past years. I keep a pretty extensive log on the varieties I plant that I don't plant. Um, the water situation in Bozeman is something to watch because the city is restricting our water usage and um, also charging us more for the more water we use, which means if you're growing your own food, you have to really pick and choose what you water. Here. We're going to move the strawberries. Oh. Next year. Move the strawberries. Uh, okay. It patches full of weeds. Time to. Time to renew it. Time to renew it. Okay. Plans for next year? I have those arrow gardens. And I'm going to try to grow some carrots in the house this winter <laughs> with those lights I got. You know those lights you yeah, saw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to grow some carrots this winter. Okay. And um, and I'm going to, I just got some seed from Johnny Seed for starters. Okay. So I'm going to have my own, uh, uh, some broccoli starters. Uh, I'm going to try cabbage next year. Yeah. I'm going to try beets first time. And so we'll see. So All right. I'll, I'll have my... But, but, you know, the cold crops are what I need the starters for. Plus, I have some spinach and some lettuce that I'll start early. Yeah. So I'm going to try doing my own starters. So yeah. there's a new variety of sweet corn I'm going to try called Mira. A friend of mine gave me a sample yesterday, and it was outstanding, better than northern extra sweet, which I didn't think it oh could be. Oh, my gosh. And uh, the only problem, I think it might be a little later than northern extra sweet, but we'll find out next year. I have a secret ingredient now. I can double the production of both of these red beds garden next year. I have the secret. What's the secret? I'm going to build two more of them just like it. <laughs> Something new for next year. Uh, this year we went really big on carrots and winter squash. And I would definitely support that for next year as well. That was pretty fun to see and um, have the bounty of. Well, I'm definitely going to rehab that, that soil in the greenhouse. Uh, more bumblebee tomatoes, because they're the greatest, and the, the artisan series. They're striped and they're, they're just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. And uh, other than that, I don't know. I'm, what I'm going to do differently is what I've done differently from past years, water less. And that's what I did this year. And because it was a drought, it did good. So, and in the past, I tended to water every other day for like an hour or so. No more. Every four days, 75 minutes. I have a drip system. That's it. Well, I'm going to rotate some stuff. I think my corn grows better in one bed than the other, where it gets a little bit more sunlight. And um, a friend of mine just gave me one of her tomatoes that's one of the varieties that you grow that's like the... Uh, from California, the tie-dyed oh, yeah. variety. Yeah, Berkeley tie-dyed. I would like to try some of that next year, some of their varieties. Far out. So, yeah. <laughs> Groovy. Felix's joke, take two. <laughs> bank robber goes into a bank, goes up to the teller, and he says, Give me your money or your geography. <laughs> the bank teller says, what the heck are you talking about? Your money or your geography. You meant your money or your, your history. And the bank robber said, don't change the subject.